Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look on AI Builder and how to create models using AI, AI Builder. And as well as uh, we'll take a real time problem where we'll just provide some solution with AI Builder by creating some tailored models. So actually I was reached uh, out by my HR team to provide some solution of their problem. So that problem we are going to take a look in a while. And before that, uh, you can see I have just logged into make.powerapps.com and on the home page, I could see build business apps fast. And on the left navigation, we have this option of AI Builder. So what AI Builder actually is. So AI Builder is a Microsoft platform capability, which actually integrates the AI model and which allow us to optimize our business processes in a faster way. So our application or business process can use the intelligent automation, I would say without uh, learning any data scientist concepts or coding concepts, you can just build simple AI builders or models using this capability and have your uh, problem solved. So we'll just talk about a bit of licensing on AI builder part. So I can just open one of the tab where you can see like what is power apps licensing. So it comes as a part of power apps licensing only. So you can see like we have three plans per app plan and that's $5 per user per app per month and that includes 255 uh, 250 AI builder service credit points and another one is per user plan that is $20 and unlimited apps can be created with one flat monthly rate and it includes 500 AI builder service credit points and the third one is which is being the most popular nowadays like pay what you actually use so it's $10 per user per app so let's go back to power apps and now I will take one real time scenario where my HR team has asked us to actually filter out the resumes based on my internal job, job postings. So actually there are a few internal job postings where my HR team, talent integration team wanted to collect the resumes within the organization and they wanted to give them a simple one step process so that the employees can just upload their resume at some centralized location. Uh, resume should have the information what they are looking for so I have created one list where like uh, I have extra created few columns that is candidate name email contact experience skills and application status so this list should be filled from the resumes which are uploaded by employees directly without giving them any interface of adding this so they'll be just adding the resume documents over here it's a in predefined format and the this list should be filled with the information and HR would be able to just filter on this application status and like mark them as shortlisted, not shortlisted and move that forward to a next level. So for that we created one AI builder model and I'll show you how we, we can create that. So you can come over here in AI builder, click on explore. So under this you can see we have multiple options of creating I mean different type type of templates has already been given and if I just scroll more down there are a few case studies which are being given where how you can use the AI builder how you can get familiar to it there are tutorials and if I click on the models so this will give me the all the model list which we created and we can start building a model over here so there are many templates invoice processing text recognition receipt processing the number of models given so we'll be processing we'll be using this custom model that is document processing for processing our resumes so i just click on this extract custom information from the documents and you can see like it gave me one of the panel that extract custom information from documents build train and publish your own custom model to extract the information. So what we are going to do, like we are going to create fields out of uh, this document and these fields would be these columns and we'll try to extract that information and then save that into a subsequent steps. And we'll be using Power Automate as a helping tool so that these information can be passed on to SharePoint. So I'll just scroll down and get started. So in the starting screen, we see that uh, we have this option of choose document type where we have structured 
and unstructured document. So these structured documents are predefined templates, predefined. Uh, it could be invoices, whatever invoices you are generating. If you are generating into specific format only, then you can just start using this one. And if you don't know like uh, your document contains any specific structure or not, then probably you can use this one. So it actually takes more while, uh, more time to train your to train or scan your entire documents, sample documents. So the structure one takes a uh, less time. But uh, as you know, like our requirement was processing the documents, reading out the resumes. So that can be in different any different format. So we can't control any specific format. If it could be invoices, research, then probably we can have a, some structured formatting around it. But I'll choose unstructured one because I don't have any format for resumes. I'll click on next. And now in the next step, choose information to extract. I would need to find out few variables or few fields out of my document. So first of all, I need to create those fields. So I'll just say candidate name. email address so you can define whatever information you would like to extract contact number and skills and years of experience so this is the basic information which HR would see directly you want to see over here and just able to mark shortlisting based on this information so right now I'm, I'll be good with these four or five information. You can also have like place uh, and date of birth, whatever information you wish to keep, you can do. So I'll just go into next screen now. Now over here, we have to create one new collection. And uh, what is a collection? Collection is a uh, collection of documents of which is having the same structure. So you can have, you can create multiple collections over here. The more the collection is, the more smart the AI model would be and it will be faster to or the predictive model would be more accurate so you can just create new collection and in this collection if you click on plus it will give you this panel where you can upload the uh, documents so I have already created a couple of resumes sample resumes I'll show you that so I'll upload that from my device and I'll just go to open this So these are the sample resumes so you can see like I have different different formatting for them there's a different one this resume is having altogether different formatting and this is a different one so all the resumes have different different formatting that's why we chose unstructured data type and now I'll just upload any of the five five or six like because five is the minimum requirement so I'll just upload five documents or resumes which are there in the PDF format and I'll just say open it will start uploading these documents so every process uh, takes a while like if when, when you start training your uh, this AI builder then it takes a while four or five minutes or maybe more than that because it's an unstructured data type for structured data type it trains that into one or two minutes because the format is altogether same but unstructured it has to scan and uh, read the multiple combinations so that it can make a smart decisive AI modeling I can click on next so now I have to do binding I have to do the extraction information extraction so it's still loading. Yep. So now I can just extract the information and map with those fields. So I just selected this name. I'll map that with candidate name. This email. I'll ma map that email address. This contact details. Map with contact. And this overall nine years experience. So this will be mapped with the years of experience. And I'll extract the summary, uh, skill summary, I would say, and map that with the summary. So it's mapping for this first document is done. I have to do that for all the uh, documents in that collection. And if you're creating multiple collection, you have to do that for each and every collection. So I'll just select it, candidate name, email address, contact, 
and this is years of experience and probably this line as a skill so this is also mapped and we I have to keep on doing that for all the collection this is contact this is email this is years of experience and probably this is the skill set so now we are done with mapping and as soon as I click on next it gave me a model summary I can see the document type is unstructured collection is one and fields mapped with this four five fields so now I can start clicking on training train my model and it will start training it it may take time it may take two five to ten minutes so though like uh, we have this this may take 20 minutes to few hours so you can close window and come back later so it doesn't take that much but if we have created multiple collections with unstructured data type document type then probably it may take 20 to 30 minutes so I can go back to model and wait for this to happen and meanwhile this is the model we have created because we have not renamed it that's why it's saying document processing and owner is question and status is training I'll just pause the video over here and we'll wait for this to happen. So our model is trained now. I can just click on it because I wish to rename it. Edit model and I'll just say that as resume processor model and my model is already trained so I'll just save and close it so that renaming can happen and on this landing screen I can see like training document so this is the information extracted and how to use the model we can use the model into power automate and power app so i once this is published then it will start it can be used into any of these so you can do a quick test as well i can just upload any of the document let's say this piece and it will analyze it and try to extract the information out of it yeah so it extracted this information and the, it also showing the confidence level 96% 96% 88% skill set and we can just close it and publish it so that we can create one power automate so that we can provide our end users with the uploading capability and just extraction should be done by this AI bit model so it's still publishing it all right so we are ready model is published and now we can use into power automate so as i said like internal employees will be given with this ijb posting resume library and they'll be just uploading their documents resumes and would able only see their own one so the, that permission you can define over this uh, library and we'll just go to power make dot power automate dot com which is a new url for power automate now and I can just create one automated cloud flow. I'll use when a file is created in a folder as trigger and create it. So I'll pick those files as soon as these files are uploaded over here. And we'll do a primary binding first of all with my site. So this is my site. And folder name is internal job posting resumes. And in next step. I'll try to find out AI builder actions when I click on it it gives me a lot many actions and out of these will be just excuse this extract information from forms so this will give me an area where I can select my processing model so resume processor model is my latest model which I created font type would be of PDF documents and form content would be of my this file content which actually when of when the file was created in my library in next step i'll be creating item into sharepoint this list with the extracted information i'll go back to my power automate and bind that to my sharepoint list and the list name is resume summary I 
I'll just now do a mapping. So title, I wish to have this candidate name value. Email, candidate, email value, address value, this one. Contact, again contact value. Experience, experience value, years of experience value. Skills, I'll map that with skills value and application status will be just applied because we are creating the item so i'll just say save and name this flow resume processor and save it so now i'll just do a testing by uploading my resume over here in this library and we'll wait for the data extraction so i'll just pick let's say my resume itself and upload it in this library and we'll wait for that trigger to run so it's running i can just go into my flow so this extract information does takes time 15 to 20 seconds let's say yep it took 15 seconds and when i expand this you can see all the information i got for my all the mapped fields and when i minimize and go to my item i could see that my fields title email contact years of experience skills everything is being populated i can just go to my this list to verify this yes candidate name is this email address this number is this years of experience and skill and applied so we can do this for other resumes as well i can just drop a few more and just to validate just to check the accuracy of my model for expecting information so you can do that uh, and it's still running and i'll wait to create the second record all right this second record is also created name this thing contact number is experience and skills so now hr got a talent education team got a simple this list they can just do a filtering by if they wish don't don't wish to have a person with lesser experience they can just filter that out and can change the status in the added grid view to apply to shortlisted and everything so all the automation is being taken care of by this power apps ai builder with this custom model and cut down man, most of the manual work, either manual work for employees uploading their or filling out their information or for HR extracting the information. So kind of very increase very much productivity and uh, it's a real time use case. So that's a valid use case in my organization. So probably a valid for you as well. And there could be many other use cases for using this AI model models in your organization. So probably a good uh, thing to explore on. So that's it for today's video. If you still have any questions or want to connect me, then just do drop comments and like my video. Thank you.